Welcome back to the vlog. Come on a trip to Helena with Matt. Okay, this 100% proves that it somehow like snows in just the corners because this is the third corner like this where it's, I didn't quite get it up quick enough to see like where it's really snowy, but where it's wet and snowy and they've dropped sand down and yeah, like I haven't seen a cloud in like two days. So I mean, yeah, obviously like if they're behind these mountains, you wouldn't be able to see them from view, but yeah, like hasn't been cloudy at all. And besides, like even while I'm in the canyons, everywhere but the corners are bone dry. Cause like watch, like once, once I get up here out of this little S curve, it'll be dry again. It's just weird. Ah, oh, maybe not entirely. I guess I had bad timing for this, but I guess I can show you after Boulder or the next set of corners. Cause that's probably, that could be part of it. Cause it's like, there's just this little straight stretch then the next set of corners. So here's another example of where it got worse in a corner. Cause even though it kind of stayed wet through base in there, like look at that, the snow, like right after it straightens out, the snow tapers off. See, and then as I come into a corner, it's back. Like, I'm not kidding. That straight stretch is like 200 yards long at most. And it still isn't, like it goes away on that little straight stretch. Okay, it's staying at this straight stretch. The other thing, besides lack of clouds, which, oh God, Jesus. Ugh. I feel like I have flash burns. I mean, obviously I don't, and I've never had flash burns because I'm safe when I weld. So I don't know what they actually feel like, but I've been to, my dad's had them and has described them. Ugh. Um. But yeah, on top of the fact I haven't seen any clouds, it obviously gets colder at night. But, like, yesterday it was like 54 and warm enough where I washed the truck. And the day before that was like 52 and I almost washed the truck that day. Because, like, the weather's been going on where it's like, oh, hey. I mean, like, it's not ideal by any means. Like, low to mid 50s is not great to be using hose water. But like yeah it's like the combination of all things because like like it obviously must like every night a cloud must come through here or form over this and snow on it because like with the way the temperature was yesterday like there is no way this wouldn't have been bone dry by the end of the day oh yeah like or at least at minimum not had snow because see like even right here i mean some of the ah i don't know looks a little, definitely looks too thick to be just be frost like this is another example, you notice that? Like not, like some little curves and straight, then come into a corner. There you go again. Good God. The sun is evil. The sun is so evil. Yeah, I can see that right there, another spot. Went completely away in the straight. And as you go into the corner, this is just kind of crazy. So yeah, this is the way the road's been. Everywhere except for the can through the canyon, and I guess a little bit past Boulder. Like, yeah. Of course, you know, we're in little central centralized snowstorms, or super duper thick frost, whichever it is, centralizes itself to where. I will give the this tundra the benefit of the doubt. Yay. this because this is the thing I was talk talking about yesterday I guess the last couple corners were like this but this is the section that's kind of the worst just because I mean like that was clearly the snowiest but then look like as you come out of the corner it gradually changes and then like by here it's like okay it's clearly a smidge wet but yeah like there's like us the first little section after Elk Park with the three corners was like that where it's like full-on like snowy and icy and I mean as you can tell, like, some of that was definitely fresh. But then, what, like, I mean, I'm maybe like a half mile away now, and like, but right here, it's like, yeah, there's a little bit of, a little bit of moisture still, but for the most part, it's like, mostly dry. Just kind of funny. Like, maybe a mile later, it's like almost dry. It's funny. Weird. Yeah, 
and this is where that little slide I had a, probably from a couple videos ago. Like, watch the guardrail here. Because the guy started sliding about right here, so I'm not going to get to the guardrail. Look at that hole. And, like, the guardrail starts, like, halfway after that hole. Like, if you miss the end of the guardrail by, like, two feet, you're going into a massive pit. Yeah. It's another one of those things where it's like, cool, that's an awesome use of our funding. Like, dump a guardrail, like, after it would be helpful. I mean, yeah, it's not useless where it is, but, I mean, like, if you miss it, like, just before, you're going into a pretty bad spot. There's the one of the best examples. If you didn't, I, I'm pretty sure I caught it quick enough to look like it was literally bone dry. And then before you get into like what are the sharpest corners in this entire trip, like I mean, in like this, I guess I I don't think I recorded here yesterday, but I was gonna say this is like definitely like 100% new. Um, because like yesterday there was nothing there. Same with it being 14 degrees, like even this where it's like clearly probably just wet. Has a very good chance of being frozen. But yeah, from bone dry to that. You can tell I stopped for gas in Boulder a lot. Um, Cause this display isn't working. And when you put your card in, it like, I knew by the beeps, I'm like, ooh, that's the beep when you gotta enter your zip code. So then I entered my zip code and then it's like, ooh, that's a beep, you take the card out. And then like, that's the beep that means you can select your grade. <laughs> that. Without the display working, you gotta, I mean, it's only like two steps, but it's like it beeps when you put your card in, then it beeps again, then it beeps when it wants your zip code, then it beeps like twice before you're allowed to pick, take your card out, and then one more time when you do your field grade, so there's still kind of weirdly a lot to it for something that simple. That's another thing that's funny about those weird little snowy spots is like you don't go that much further and you're to Boulder, and there's like, okay, there's a little tiny bit, that's just frozen water, never mind. But there's like nothing here. Like, I don't know. I don't really remember if it just didn't snow here or if it melted. I mean, it is open enough, it would have gotten a lot of sun. But it's funny because, like, like, everywhere where snow piles, like where lots are plowed and stuff, the piles are still massive. Like, any place that doesn't get tons of sun, there's still like six, eight inches of snow in Helena. And it's kind of funny because, like, even at our house, it's basically gone entirely. When usually Butte's the one that gets and keeps more snow. This is where that explorer, that junky explorer was sitting in my work lot. Kind of looks like, I've never seen it when it's dried up. It almost looks like oil that was mixed with antifreeze that was, like had dried up for a while. Kind of a similar color. So if that's the case, that could explain it. Because if it was oil and antifreeze mixed and then it's on the ground, that would be quite catastrophic. Although that doesn't explain why it wouldn't have been towed in about two days. This is so mean, that poor dog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.